Hey, how's it going? I'm Isla Golden and welcome to my vlog. Um, so, I said this last time, this one would be about the unexpected. Um, can't remember now what I meant by that. <laughs> have to admit, I should have done two vlogs last time. I only filmed the one because I was about to take a trip away and I needed to make sure that I had it edited and everything um, ahead of time. And the easiest way of doing that was instead of filming the second vlog straight after was to instead edit the one that I just filmed. Um, you might notice we're in a different location today. So now that the living room area is much more comfortable and finished and everything else, I thought it might be nice just to try it out in here. Uh, it's certainly a little bit more comfortable than sitting on the floor. It's certainly going to be a nice uh, angle than on the bed or on the floor. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna try this today. Also means I can be keeping an eye on my adorable little gerbil girls, and I can currently see Mew is desperately trying to escape. Okay, so I think last time. Um, when I set the topic of this one as being unexpected, I think I might have been referring to unexpected things that can kind of happen, not just in terms of unexpected things that can happen to you as a person, but unexpected things that happen whilst you're, you're writing a story and constructing a story that kind of changes how you sort of see and view that story. Um, there have certainly been a lot of unexpected things that have happened to me uh, over the last year. Uh, the big one being, and I, I expected to become a homeowner. That was my plan from the get-go of the year. I did not expect it to only take four months, less than really, when you think about it. Um, that was, was very unexpected. Nice, very nice. Um, not, I'm not going to argue that it's not a good thing. Uh, just, just a very unexpected thing. It wasn't how I thought the year was going to go and how how things were going to turn out. Um, and with that, some other sort of unexpected things that have kind of occurred um, during the last year or so. I can't think of any of them right now because my brain has just gone blank. Um, well, yeah, again, not all like the unexpected stuff can necessarily be good things. There's been plenty of things that have happened that I haven't expected this year um, that have been more on the negative side. Things like, you know, my roof leaking, um, having to get an entire brand new oven, not just replacing the hob, things like that. Uh, but that's kind of like the, the minor sort of minutiae. Um, I definitely expected to have published uh, The Colours I See by this point. Uh, that's one of the reasons why I released the, the main title so early. So I was like, oh yeah, I'll, I'll have it done by the summer, by the end of the summer. Um, definitely, definitely, definitely want it done soon. So yeah. But a lot of the things that have kind of hiccuped the, the progress, sort of the, the decorating, and again, that, that stems from you know, I didn't expect to get that to become a homeowner quite so soon and, and this, that and the other. Um, a lot, I think, of the unexpected stuff for me this year, though, has been more to do with the writing, um, you know, where the stories have gone and, and the path the stories have taken. Um, it does kind of amaze me sometimes, certainly whilst I'm doing the editing process, um, I will go back through, uh, and then a good example of this is one of the scenes that I was editing back through this morning, um, I came across this moment in one of the early chapters and I just had to kind of stop because I suddenly realised there was there was a layer there that I hadn't actually considered before in sort of knowing the story a lot better now than when I sort of originally wrote it and, and having a lot more focus there than, than I initially had. Um, it just kind of hit me with this sort of sudden realisation of actually this this little detail when you sort of put it in in the broader context uh, 
actually has a lot more significance and a lot more meaning and that was definitely an unexpected thing to happen this morning but that's one of the reasons why I love my writing so much and then I love never rating the series collection um so much as I'm always coming across these these little details that I'm I'm wanting to put them in there but in context with the the grander narrative and in context with what I learn about the characters the more I sort of work with these characters it just amazes me sometimes that you know I can still find these little these little snippets and these little details that all kind of make me go wow <laughs> I know I shouldn't say I'm an amazing writer that's you know kind of big-headed and whatever else but sometimes you just come across these these little moments these little details and it's like wow um and like I do not expect when I started writing the, when I started editing, I didn't expect when I started editing Hyena Boy that the colours I see would ever be a thing. And then when I started writing the colours I see, I didn't think there would be another book. And when I started writing that one, I didn't think, you know, at this point in this year, I would be on the, the fourth book in the collection. And these are not small books. I mean, Hyena Boy is, <laughs> but the other three are not small books. So it's just, I don't know, it's just been one of those kind of years. So a lot of things have happened that have kind of been, yeah, I know these things are going to happen, but they've happened a lot faster than I thought they would, um, or they've happened in slightly different ways than I thought they would. Um, and then, you know, they're on the other side of that, a lot of stuff has just sort of occurred that I had no idea was going to have to occur. And, yeah, it's just... It's really been one of those kind of years where it's just, this year has not gone the way that I've expected it to. And that's for like all the good reasons and all for the bad reasons. You know, there's no, this year is terrible. There's no, this year is brilliant. It's just a year of just such unexpected things. Um, and what would be a fantastic unexpected thing is if I were to release, release the colours I see and turn into like a hit book. But you know, that's, that's. I, I'm more realistic than that these days, so I know that's not necessarily going to happen, probably won't happen. Um, but just, you know, the, the path that this year has taken so far, and all the little things have kind of cropped up, and, and, and kind of, yeah, it's, it's been an unexpected kind of year. Um, and I have no idea if that's the way I originally wanted this to be about, uh, probably didn't. Um, as I said, a lot's happened kind of since then. Um, I'm also feeling a little bit cold-like at the moment, um, which isn't, you know, fantastically great. I was going to film the second one that I need to film now, but given just how not great I'm feeling at this moment in time, um, I, I need to film this one today. I can, I can sort the rest out later. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, I apologise that this one has been a little bit rambly, a little bit all over the place, a little bit stoppy starty. Um, yeah, <laughs> I'm not really sure what else to say. So I'm going to keep it short and sweet um, and finish this one off here. Um, I believe the title of the next one is Spooky. Um, no, again, not sure what I was thinking when I came up with that title. Uh, we'll see if when I come filming it, that one later on this week, uh, when I'm not feeling quite so meh, <laughs> that I can uh, come up with something actually to talk about rather than kind of unfocused to the jungle that I've done for this one. Um, Alright, so with this, that said, again, I apologise for this one being a little bit randomly and unfocused. I uh, hope you can forgive me for not feeling particularly well. Um, I hope you're looking forward to what should promise to be a more focused one next time, and I will see you next time. See ya. <laughs> if you've enjoyed this video, feel free to check out some of my others, and if you like what you see, please like and subscribe. See ya!